Good morning everyone. Um, I can't see the viewfinder so I'm not 100% sure if I'm in the middle. <coughs> Sorry, I haven't spoken to anyone yet today. So my voice is probably a bit croaky. But um, I was going to do my makeup while I spoke to you because then it's something for me to do and not you just watching me doing nothing. I'm sure you probably watch the videos while you're doing something else because that's what I do with a lot of my videos. Um, today it is Thursday so mum's at work today um, and Will is coming over and we're going to be taking photos of lots of different things because I'm kind of behind on my taking photos of my makes so I've got a load of blog posts about things to do including the um, Mend It Month Roundup which is what I'm starting with so I haven't made this top but I've mended the jeans so that's the first thing that we're going to take pictures of um, so yeah that's just kind of what today is going to be and then later I'm going round to his house and he's going to cook me dinner which is very kind of him but um, what I actually wanted to talk about while I was doing my makeup and I'll start off by saying I'm not having a super great pain day um, I was up in London yesterday I was lucky enough to do another day of work experience for Sew Over It at their new shop which is opening, um, I can't say when obviously because I'm not sure if they've announced it, but it's their new Islington shop and I was up there and it was quite a long journey because I've never been to that shop before so I wasn't 100% sure where I was going and I was kind of achy anyway because I'm on less pain medication, which I know I keep going on about, but the whole point of these vlogs is to kind of show you what it's like day to day with an invisible disability and like what it's, what my, that like to kind of show that my every day is different like some days I could f be feeling really great and other days I could be stuck in bed so today which is kind of a high pain day but not so high that I um, physically can't get out of bed which is good I'm going to be using my crutches to get about um, today so I won't be able to film while I'm walking around because that would be a bit of an awkward system like on my crutches but holding a camera like strapped to my chest or something um but yeah that was the whole kind of point of these vlogs to show you that um every day is different for me and some days when it's like this when I'm feeling bad um I know that I have to be really really careful and not do too much and not sit for too long like I kind of know my triggers I need to be really careful to avoid the next week being stuck in bed. So yesterday while I was fine, I was walking about, I was travelling up to London, I had a really good day. Today it's really taken a toll on me and um, I need to be really, really careful to make sure that it doesn't um, have repercussions that are kind of, not catastrophic, well, kind of catastrophic because um, the past three years, two or three years, I think two years actually, um, I've actually been really ill over Christmas. Last year I was changed onto a new um, opiate painkiller um, without tapering off my original opiate painkiller. We thought it was a bad reaction to the new one but it turned out it was actually withdrawal from the old one and I was like there's not really two ways about it. I am addicted to my pain medication. Not emotionally like I am happy to stop whenever but if I miss a dose by an hour or so even I start getting really shaky, really agitated, really anxious, I have terrible muscle pains, um, I am just a bit of a wreck basically um, and that was what last year was, I didn't sleep for like at least 30 hours one day so I was really exhausted, I was in a lot of pain, I was really sick, um, I have terrible stomach cramps and stuff so that was really not fun and the year before that I was on um, very very high level painkillers. I was on morphine and fentanyl which are really strong anyway but for someone so little um, I was just kind of my whole body was bombarded with it a bit so um, and we ended up having Christmas dinner around my bed last uh, the year before last so I really don't want that to happen this year because winter is a really tricky time for me because um, the cold weather makes my joints I kind of not really sure of the science behind it um, because I am, um, the reason my joints dislocate is because of the hypermobility in my collagen 
but I don't just have hypermobility, I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which is like, but I have the hypermobility type. So it's like hypermobility, but above hypermobility syndrome, and like, is, it is, it is, it does affect me day to day, and it is a disability. So, um, I know a lot of the time I might not seem disabled, but I am disabled, and I have no problem saying that, and, um, that was what my 12 days of Christmas was about and I called it that because my whole idea was that it would be about my disability but in a kind of jokey way but um, I got a message from a viewer who expressed concern and offence at the use of Christmas. Um, so I'm going to be changing that and that has actually made me really anxious which has made my seizures a lot worse and I know that that was not at all their um, intention and they're, they worded it so eloquently and they were so polite about it and I completely, completely understand where they were coming from and obviously if anyone else was offended I can't apologise enough for um, having offended you but um, yeah I don't really want to talk about it loads because I don't want to have a seizure on camera but I am going to be changing that I asked for some new suggestions sorry I don't want to get upset I just hate the fact that I have offended someone. But yeah, I asked for some new suggestions on my Instagram. I wanted it to still be related to um, disability because that's the whole reason I'm doing this. Um, and we got some suggestions of Crutchmas, which I liked. Um, and 12 Days of Craftmas was really good, but then also not 100% disability like focused. Obviously I'm gonna be doing so much crafting because that is basically my whole life and what defines me. Um, but I think my favourite so far has been hobbling holidays. So I won't be asking for suggestions in the comments and I don't really want to be talking about the whole name changing thing because um, it is something I identified with and I know that it was used as a slur in the past and I don't want it to be construed as that at all. But it was kind of in the same sort of vein as there are some words in the gay community that were used as slurs in the past and now they identify with it, they being the gay community um, and it's one word in particular even appears in the LGBTQ sometimes it's called LGBTQ but the Q used to be a slur and now they identify it and they kind of like owned it and that was the sort of thing that I was going for but obviously I completely understand and I don't want to offend anyone. So I don't want to talk about it too much as I said because I don't want to keep having seizures because I had a bad night with those thinking about this. But um, I think I'm going to call it Hobbling Holidays and um, I appreciate all your support about it and the viewer who is so understanding um, in explaining to me why it offended them and I completely understand there is no hard feelings. Um, but yes, also I wanted to show you, moving quickly on, I am on my very first eBay extravaganza. There are these Orla Kylie shoes that I've wanted for months. And they are, they were meant to be £120. They're also pink ones, I'll get them up to show you. They were £120, but I found in the outlet they're £60. And then I found on eBay that there were some that were, they're, brand new and they're starting, they were starting at £23. Um, so I'll show you on the Clark's website, they're all a Kylie, all a Keely, I'm not really sure how you're meant to pronounce it. These are the ones that I really, really would love to own. They're the all a BB pink leather ones, those ones. How amazing are they? They're so good, but the ones that I found on eBay are these ones. And I'm not sure if I've said in my videos before, I think I might have done that I needed some red shoes but I'm being very specific about which red shoes and when I first saw these a few months ago these are the red shoes are they not the greatest so yeah they're 60 pounds they were 120 and then 40 80 84 and now they're 60 um, but I'm currently the highest bidder on 26 pounds but it's got just over like a day and a half left so Oh, I hope I win them because I really love them and a lot of my clothes, they're the red ones, sorry, that 
uh, on eBay. A lot of my clothes would go so well with that and I already know that because I've been looking for red shoes for the longest time but those pink ones are also perfect and I love the heel that the pink ones have so if I get any Christmas money that it might have to go towards those shoes because they are so amazing and they're so 60s and I love them so much. Also I've finally decided on what I want to do for my little red dress project. I had the fabric picked out. I'm not going to talk about it too much because um, I don't want to spoil it. I can't remember the dates of the reveal, but if I know that it falls within Christmas. So my plan is to do another sew along because it's going to be like a super hack of patterns is this dress because I've been re-watching Mad Men and I'm on the first or second season at the moment so it's still very early 60s and my fabric is so 60s and I love vintage fashion um, I just find it really appealing and I really like the whole aesthetic of it so um, I think that's what well I know that's what I'm going for because my fabric I can't remember if I literally just said this or not my fabric is very very 60s and um, yes it's going to be a very vintage dress and it yeah it will be a hack that I think you're going to really enjoy so um, I will definitely be doing a video on that I'm just not sure whether it will fall within um, my vlogmas or kind of be a separate video because usually I split them into two parts so I could kind of do it as a vlog but then I'm not sure if it would sort of ruin the whole reveal idea I'm not really sure let me know what you think on that um, but I'm also going to be doing a video tutorial on the hack for turning the vintage shirt dress into um, the turning the vintage shirt dress into like a top vintage shirt shirt so um, I think that I'll definitely do that soon too. Actually I think I will do it as separate videos because if it's like within Vlogmas and you want to watch the whole process of it then you'll be watching Vlogmas as well if that makes sense. So it'll probably be more accessible to do it as separate videos. I just don't know whether I'll count them as a couple of my 12 days. It depends what I've got going on. Um, I am meant to be back up in London at Sew Over It on Friday but I'm just in... Also another thing is that like, I am not super... I kind of... this is going to sound... just go with me on this. I kind of feel like, with a name like Hobbling Handmaids, um, that I have to sort of justify the fact that I've called myself that. But the truth is, I don't really enjoy taking photos of myself on the bad days, and I spoke about this briefly on Instagram. I don't like having photos taken of me when I'm using the wheelchair and I don't like having photos taken of me when I'm in a lot of pain and stuck in bed because I want my Instagram to be pretty um, and I just don't really want to remember the bad days and I, you might be, be like, well why have you called yourself Hobbling Handmaids then? And it's because I want to talk about stuff like that, like I have an invisible disability and it doesn't really need to be justified, I know that I have it, doctors know that I have it even if it took a long time to diagnose and it affects me day to day and I don't really need to show you empirical evidence that I have it if it makes me uncomfortable like I think that talking about it and making it more normalized and more positive um, because so many people with younger people especially with disabilities are so like ashamed to admit that um, they are different and being a teenager I've said this loads of times as well being a teenager is hard enough let alone when you have to be carted off to hospital appointments every week and have loads of tests and be in hospital all the time and have to cancel on loads of things because you can't see what's wrong with like people with invisible illnesses you can't see what's wrong with them so people get confused and like well you're just lying then and I've been accused of lying in the past and it's really affected me because before I was diagnosed that was something like I thought well it must be in my head then because no one can find anything wrong and so that was really hard but I sort of feel like I should be showing you the days where I'm having really bad days but I really just don't want to because I 
while my disability is a part of me, it doesn't define me, even though that's my name on here. The whole point was that it was something I talked about and I was open about and I was positive about. But what defines me is the fact that I love sewing and making things. That's just something that affects it, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what I was trying to say there or where I was coming from. I'm not very good at eye makeup. I just sort of go with it. I wish I could do the whole vintage cat eye thing, but I do not have the um, still hand, hand eye coordination or patience to do that. I might curl my hair today because we're taking photos of like seven things. So I might as well go all out. I don't usually enjoy doing my makeup because I just think about how long it takes to take off. But when it's worth it like it is today, then yeah. I'll stop talking now because otherwise I'll just talk about nonsense for ages. Um, I'll keep you updated on the shoes, that's for sure. And I will see you again in a minute. A minute to you, probably a few hours for me while I get ready and have a lay down because my hips are really hurting. See you in a second. Stop with Digger. There's Digger. There's a light. No. <laughs> what dress is this? This is my Kirsty dress. My Kirsty's handmade Christmas dress. You missed a button. Where? Second one down. Dang it. <laughs> is it recording? Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> don't get my socks in it. Okay, I won't get your socks in it. They don't go. Your socks are not in the video. Shall I put, shall I be pretending to put stuff on the tree? We can have one where you're just smiling. Oh, I should have got my triceratops. Smile! Now work with that tree. Work with the tree. Hang on, turn this way a little yeah, bit and I'll, I'll sort of get them. I'll go this side. Yeah. Because I'm right handed. Can the camera still see me or is it just yeah no that be. one yeah oh okay <laughs> there's no space for anything so can i get like a close-up where it's like you can see the buttons and the collar oh, yeah. and the tree in the background as well i'll smile just in case your neck hang on your neck looks a little bit odd can you sort of <laughs> just look down a little bit Can I show my lining without looking indecent? Uh, what, is it like? It's Father Christmas. Oh. Oh, I'm going to show a bit of leg, <laughs> but not to anything apart from that camera. I'll uh, just show it like that, yeah. Nice. Now I will do that button right back <laughs> up. One more for luck. Maybe a couple more because this is going to have a whole blog post. Right. Mine did. Not in the one that's coming out this year. Oh, because I was going to say, it looks very good! Because <laughs> there was that whole other character in the last one, wasn't there? Yeah. I want to move Well, in Rogue character. One there was. Yeah, that's the last one. Alright, I thought you meant the, like, the main Ganon. <laughs> Mum painted this. Isn't it good? It's very good. Nice she and glossy. painted the snowman things over there. Just go wild with the gotcha. photos on this one. So beautiful. Oh, you! Not the socks! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do what you want, pal. Harriet Johnson exposed. Look at those socks. No, don't show my Look socks. Look at those socks. Don't they? Shame. Shame. Christmas. Where's your face? There's your face. It's like, where's Wally? Boop. You are a wife. But with a fit. <laughs> He's got such a dirty little head. <laughs>